To follow up the how to stay awake for 32 hours in Bergen, let me take you along in a chronological order in how to stay awake for 72 hours in Berlin. First, of course, I woke up on Friday morning and still had to work that day. Uh, but for the weekend, I already bought four tickets at RSO. I wanted to surprise my two friends to take them along to the party. It was something that I planned because I was off on Monday and I wanted to make use of that. So the first evening I went to my great pharmacist friend. <laughs> Him and I are quite famous for our, uh, well, uh, Keta use, I would, uh, I would say. That's also what we basically did on Friday, uh, Friday night. Hey, you, could you do me a favor and please click that subscribe button and like button? It would help me out a great deal as I'm trying to move this channel forward. Um, thank you. I would sleep a few hours on his couch. It ended up uh, not sleeping at all. We were too high and we were having uh, too much fun. We had some friends over and we were just listening to some, uh, to some techno. So then we went to RSO uh, Saturday morning. And of course, if you use speeds here and there a little, you can just continue on and it was quite fun. Uh, it was still in the time that uh, Corona was going on, so they only had the outside part uh, open. And well, it was nice, nice music. It was uh, definitely a nice change for, uh, for the sound system uh, that they had. Good DJs and we really enjoyed ourselves. The only thing that I would really like to say is that uh, RSO toilets cannot uh, compare to uh, Bergheim toilets. But <laughs> that doesn't really matter anyways. Um, there was one like cabin that they had, which was also a toilet, but it was uh, uh, for people in a wheelchair, for example. And well, we often just went there with like six, seven friends and we just took our drugs there. So then actually, my plan was after that party, it was Saturday night uh, by, that, uh, by that time, it was my plan to go home. And at the moment that I got home, I got a text message from a friend. He was having a house party as well. And then I was contemplating uh, to myself, should I go sleep or should I go to that party? Well, it took me around 30 seconds and then I just called him like, hey, I'm going to join. Took another line of speed and then I was uh, on my way. It was a speedy, a speedy way there, uh, I would say. <laughs> Um, it was also quite nice. He had like a party in like a basement uh, area somewhere. And by that time we still had to hide for the police because parties weren't allowed. Um, hey, if you hate me for this, that's okay. You may, we, we may differ in opinion <laughs> in how to deal with ourselves in those uh, Corona times. I am, uh, I am fine with that. Um, so yeah, I stayed there uh, up until like the morning and then I was already texting with my friend who I would take on that Sunday to, uh, to RSO again. And uh, they were at a party. I also had a birthday uh, that was uh, celebrated uh, at RSO on that Sunday. So I had to go anyways. Um, I still didn't sleep uh, Yeah, since Friday morning, uh, of course. And I can tell you by that time, uh, if you stay awake for that long, you're already quite brain dead. That's just how it is. Like, don't expect uh, much information or background information from me after staying awake for two days already. But then I went there. I was there a bit early. My friends came a bit later. Um, gladly, I still had some substances uh, with me. And around that time, uh, I also thought it was a great idea for some extra energy and I took some ecstasy. Mind me, I never take a whole pill uh, altogether. I don't like doing that. And besides that, I always try to figure out a little bit uh, in, uh, in how it's gonna hit. So I just took a quarter and then everything was fun again. Everything was shining and everything was nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, then my friends came, we, uh, we again had a good time at uh, RSO and uh, yeah, then in the evening uh, or something, I was getting uh, quite, uh, quite tired. Uh, yeah, not a surprise, of course, after being awake uh, for so long. Um, but then there was another friend of mine who was still like, hey, let's chill uh, after. 
Um, and yeah, then I could have gone home, but I knew I was off on Monday. So I was just like, okay, I'm gonna sleep my whole Monday. So then I still joined uh, to, uh, to the after party uh, there. That was, uh, to be honest, it was way more chilled. It was not like it was a good after party, but chilled. Uh, of course, play some music and etc. But everyone was already uh, pretty, uh, pretty tired. And then we just took a few more lines of, uh, of Keita. And before I knew it, it was already five in the morning. <laughs> And then I figured, okay, okay, you, you know what? It's, it's really time for me to go home. So I went home <laughs> and I always used to have a ritual if I would come home and I would stay awake for that long. I would definitely not advise to do this. Um, I remember that I had some friends of mine doing that, staying awake for, some lo uh, for so long and I could not imagine how it could be. Then I just asked them like, hey, how do you do this? And they were always, always the reaction that I got back was like, well, you sort of just get used to it. Um, and yeah, it, it's definitely something, a skill that I'm not using <laughs> anymore, but it helped me uh, later on. Like, for example, now I have to, sometimes I wake up at like 3.30 or 4 and then I go to the gym. Um, and I don't care that much anymore about when I wake up, what time I have to wake up. And I just always just do. And uh, that's definitely something that I learned from that. <laughs> Again, not advisable. Um, but my ritual was as follow always, because like always make sure that you don't take speed. That's like soon before sleeping, of course. And um, yeah, then I uh, would make a tea for myself. I would chill a little and uh, after drinking my tea, I would most likely just be hella tired and I would just fall asleep. For the day after, I always made sure that I eat uh, or ate really well. Like in those three days, I think, yeah, I ate two sort of dinners and that was about it. So the day after, I always made sure that I ate really well because otherwise I knew that it was going to be a hard week. And it, yeah, it's still like after staying awake for so long, it's still gonna, gonna be a hard time uh, uh, to, to recover uh, from that. I slept my whole Monday. Of course, I woke up a few times to, uh, to eat in between to make sure that I get some uh, good nutrition uh, in there. A lot of uh, vegetables. Um, and yeah, then on Tuesday I had to work again, which was fine, uh, which was fine. Uh, I just made sure that I woke up one hour or two hours before work, get to work, do my work. And then once I got home, I already felt like uh, sleeping after dinner. So yeah, <laughs> definitely something I just wanted to share. Um, this is not something that I would advise doing, but this is definitely something that some people do, including uh, myself. I didn't do it every weekend. Uh, I would definitely not advise it as well. Sleep is important, um, but uh, yeah, it happens. A, a little uh, story time uh, from my side also to give a little bit of insight in how my life was there. Again, didn't do that every weekend, not at all, uh, but from time to time it happened. Um, yeah, I hoped you liked the video. <laughs> Maybe you hate me <laughs> for saying this stuff. Maybe you think I'm really weird. That's all okay with me. Um, everyone has his own uh, own lifestyle. Uh, currently me being a Malta and the sober puppy uh, that, I'm am, uh, that I am, I haven't done this in a while. Um, and I think that's uh, that's really good also for my mental health doesn't really help with your mental health to do this uh, That's one thing uh, one thing for sure <laughs> If you have any questions just post them down uh, under the, the video uh, Leave a like if you uh, if you like the video or if you think I'm, I'm likable uh, And then there is nothing else to say than big hug much love and then I see you in the next one. Ciao ciao